Hey everyone, it's been a minute since you've seen my face on here. I've been very busy. As you saw in a video posted this week, I took my road trip to Big Bend National Park and there will be more of those uh, road trip diaries if I deem them worthy of posting. But today we're doing videos, as you've seen in the title already, so let's get started. Today, I watched Mortal Kombat, the new movie uh, streaming on HBO, HBO Go, or HBO Max, or whatever it's called. It was really good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I grew up with the watching the first movie a lot. The second one, not so much, but I did see them both in theaters. The new one has... A little bit more of a it, it takes itself a little more seriously than those old ones did does have a lot of stuff for the fans cheesy lines of them saying fatality and uh, false victory and stuff like that lots of the characters that people really want to see in the movie Kano Sonya Liu Kang Sub-Zero and Scorpion chiefly so, uh, Raiden. So, um, yeah. Thumbs up for me on that. A few weeks ago, I did these and, um, hadn't watched enough movies that I felt I had enough to do a video. So, anyway. Jarrett let me borrow Morgan. This is made by, um... Shoot, who's the director of this? Well, I think it's Ridley Scott's son directed it. Luke Scott. Okay. There's also a short film on here that's really good. That um, is called Loom. That has uh, Giovanni Ribisi in it. That's worth seeing. It's worth buying this just to watch that. That might be available streaming somewhere online. But this movie's pretty good. It's very, very dark. Uh, I like that though. I like sci-fi that uh, doesn't feel like it has to have a love story involved or something like that. But um, this is human um, gene tampering gone wrong is what this movie is. Thumbs up on that one too. Uh, this is Brian De Palma. VHS I found not that long ago, Body Double. Interesting story, um, sort of a mystery that unfolds and uh, has some pretty big twists in it. Uh, I dug the acting. I dug, uh, I, I really just like Brian De Palma's vibe. But uh, kind of a murder mystery with uh, a lot of interesting characters, totally worth seeing. I'm trying to think. I know there's something else I streamed recently. Well, I've been watching Invincible, which I think I mentioned I was really excited about on here. So watch that on Amazon. Also been watching uh, Walking Dead and Fear the Walking Dead. Those have been o just okay. Although the newer Walking Deads have been some of the best. That uh, Especially the Negan episode is some of the best that I've seen best adaptations of comic material as well and uh creep show the second season of creep show i think is the second season has been knockout awesome way better than the first season in my opinion last but not least brazil by uh terry gilliam watched this yesterday totally awesome um, only knew it by reputation. Um, back in the day growing up, I would have to buy things um, in order to find out that they were good. And I, when I would go to Suncoast movies or Blockbuster or whatever, I only usually had money enough to get one thing. And this never rose to the top. It should have. It's really, really good. This is the Criterion Collection, which has a lot of bonus goodies. Um, the final cut version, which is what I watched. 
Um, this is a studio cut version, the Love Conquers All version, which if you watch a, uh, you can watch this short film called What is Brazil on YouTube, and it kind of dives into the backstory of this movie. You should not watch that before watching the movie, however, but, um, it tells the studio battle, maybe the biggest studio battle for, um, the release of a film ever, and, um, just really, really interesting. But there's two short films on here. One is Half an Hour, which is the one they made during the movie, during the filming. And The Battle of Brazil, which may also be on YouTube at this point. But uh, Criterion Collections, I'm starting to find out, are the best buy that you could possibly make if you are uh, a movie nerd. Like I am. So, um... Watch all of these movies I've talked about, and, uh, you know, check out the shows, and um, until next time, goodbye.